let's use Excel to find out if we have any official outliers in a data pair. So we have this set of data pairs, X and Y, uh, X and Y data pairs. There's eight of them. And if we plot them, we see this. We fit a straight line through it, actually. Uh, least squares fit. And we might suspect this point here. Uh, it doesn't seem to fit with the rest of them. So we ask, is this data point an official outlier or not? We'd like to get rid of it if it is. So here's the procedure for doing that. First of all, I did do a regression analysis, uh, as we talked about in a previous uh, video, and calculated the co-intercept and the slope. From that, I generated that straight line. I also generated this column of y. This is the fitted value, the best fit value. So it's the, the y-intercept plus the slope times x, as you can see there. And uh, filled that down. Then I calculated the residual, which is equal to the uh, value of the curve fit minus the value the, of the measurement. And then I also calculated EI squared and then EI over S. Now S, Y, X is defined as the standard error of estimate. It's given by this formula, which I actually uh, calculated by summing all the E Squ EI squareds, which are just Y minus YI squared, some of those divided by uh, N over 2. So you can see that formula here. N is 8. And so I get the value of SYX. But notice that's also the same value as Excel calculates for us in its macro standard error. 0.5833. So it actually calculates that for you. So this step was not necessary. I just did it to show you that it works. Finally, here we have this uh, normalized residual, which is EI divided by S, S of YX. Um, so now what do we do? Well, we look at the values, and we look at a plot of these normalized residuals versus X. So E over S, and we plot those, and we see that there is one data point that has a deviation from zero that's more than two, just barely, but it's uh, a little bit more than two. When we look up at the data, it's actually this point is minus 2.06. So there's two rules for uh, making this uh, be an outlier. Uh, and again, we suspect this third data point First of all, the absolute value of E over S has to be greater than 2. Is that true? Yes. And the other uh, criteria is that this residual, is, this standardized uh, residual is not consistent with its neighbors. And when we look at this plot, uh, we see that these guys are all kind of hovered up here, and then this one fellow is way down here, so it is not consistent with his neighbors. So I would say that data point three is indeed an outlier. We can take it out. We can remove it. And then at that point, we would have to repeat the analysis if we suspected any other outliers.